Sehr geehrte Damen, sehr geehrte Herren, sehr geehrte Stoßstiftung, sehr geehrte Preisträger, sehr geehrter Herr Lindner, Michael Hensel, sehr geehrte Christian Sandin, sehr geehrte Platz und so weiter. Liebe Kollegen, Studierende, Freunde, in der especially warm welcome to our dear guest of honor, Mr. James Bonner. It's an honor to have you here, an outstanding landscape architect. We admire your work and we are very proud to have you here and just a little tension for just bringing us into a good concentrated mood. Mr. Connery, our cordial, cordial welcome you. Thank you. Ceremony of an honorary doctorate to Professor James Brunner. The Department of Architecture has not awarded any honorary doctorate for some time now. In total, we awarded only 37 laureates since founding of the TU Munich, exactly 150 years ago. One for every four years. And this is a really spectacular thing. It's the first landscape architect ever. <laughs> so this even points out in the year of the this has to be there. <laughs> anniversary of the Team Muni. This even points out the importance of this honorary document. It shows the importance of landscape and urban studies within our department. Dear colleagues from the field of landscape architecture, I would like to thank you very much, except for you, that's true. I would like to thank you very much for your proposal, nominating this excellent candidate. So I'm proud to present James Groner, and I'm looking forward to a speech of Udo Weilacher, and I hereby hand over to my esteemed colleague, Udo for introducing and presenting James Thorne. Thank you. Dear friends, dear students, uh, dear honorary guests, I'm very pleased and very proud to have you all here for this uh, wonderful event. Um, I'm really very, very happy that uh, together with my dear colleagues from the landscape architecture field at the TU Munich, notably the Guinea Keller, Sören Schöbel, and of course Ferdinand Ludwig, we succeeded to convince the Department of Architecture to give this award of the Dr. Honoris Causa uh, to one of the world's leading landscape architects. Be prepared for some sweet exaggerations as you like them. <laughs> as uh, Andreas Hill just mentioned, um, it's 150 years ago that the TU Munich awarded honorary doctorates to 37 renowned architects for their scientific achievements, for their technology achievements and art achievements. And uh, this year, the outstanding title is the highest academic title that we can give to a professional, as a matter of fact, in Germany, um, is going to a landscape architect as we for the very first time. And it shows the appreciation of this field in the Faculty of Architecture, in the Department of Architecture, for our work. We asked, of course, several international experts to evaluate the work of James Horner, because we're not giving away easily an honorary doctorate, as you can imagine. But uh, to tell you the truth, we didn't only ask two experts to uh, comment on your work, like Joachim Wolschke Bullmann from the University of Hanover and Frederick Steiner from the University of Pennsylvania, but we actually asked 30 experts to talk about your work and evaluate it. So I'm giving you a few information about James Corner, but at the same time, let me please 
also cite a few comments from the colleagues that uh, contributed to this little uh, booklet here. Quote, James Corner is doubtlessly one of the most influential theoretists and brilliant practitioners of landscape architecture in our time. When his seminal book, Taking Measures Across the American Landscape, came out in 1996, his splendid collage, in combination with the aerial photography of Alex McLean, revealed landscapes as richly layered entities engulfed in complex dynamics on different time scales. It was a clear statement, if not manifesto, that landscape architect architects are engaged in a subject that is so complex and that its traditional means of description are not only utterly inadequate, but cripple our transformative potential. This is the comment by our dear colleague Christian Bergmann, who contributed to the book, and just to give you a feeling for you know, how well estimated you are in the field. James Corner was born in Manchester, in Britain, in 1961. We talked about it this morning. And to grow up in, a, in an industrial city, in a, in a city which goes through heavy transformation, is of course coining your work a lot, and we're going to see a lot about that tomorrow evening. And because I have to say, we're very happy that we get the support by the Oscar von Miller Forum, because they actually invited you to come over, and will give you the chance tomorrow night to present your work in detail. So this is more or less like the official part, but the juicy part will be seen tomorrow night. You were born in Britain in 1961, studied landscape architecture in the UK, in Manchester of course, and in the USA at the renowned University of Pennsylvania. You earned your master in 1986. You went through successful cooperations with several leading offices in landscape architecture. And you were appointed as a professor pretty early, as a matter of fact, in 1988 a full-time professor at the renowned University of Pennsylvania. When I asked him this morning where are the best landscape architects educated in the United States, guess what? But I know that he's very critical, very self-critical, and the education you're delivering at the University of Pennsylvania is really excellent. And that's why we're very proud to have this connection to the University of Pennsylvania. Peter Lutz has been teaching there. Uh, Tilman Lutz gave you an excellent tour yesterday through the landscapes of Munich. Thanks, thanks again, Tilman, for this excellent tour yesterday. And we're very happy to have this uh, connection established. The reason why he was appointed as a professor, from my point of view, is the fact that he was not only dealing with landscape architecture. This is a landscape architect who is not only interested in the traditional way of dealing with landscape, but he's dealing with the urban development, and that's something very far-sighted. And that's why, allow me another quote from our little experts around here. In June 2016, at the University of Pennsylvania, Corner declared, here we have our mandate, a new declaration that landscape architects must take on the challenge of shaping and forming the, the future city quantitatively qualitatively, ecologically, socially, pragmatically, and poetically. We talked about pragmatics and poetics today a lot. The profession of landscape architecture, at least in the case of James Corner and field operations, his office, takes the post-industrial city as the main frontier of the battle. This time, not only as an art of beautifying and making embellishing artifacts in the city, but as a way of urbanism. And as a matter of fact, you coined the term landscape urbanism quite a bit, and you enriched our vision of a city that is a special landscape, based on the theory of John Brinko of Jackson, who said, well, a landscape is nothing else but a system of spaces. And if a landscape is nothing else but a system of spaces, then of course the city is a special type of landscape, and that's how you approach the field, and we've learned a lot from that. Guess from whom this quote is? It's Ju Kong Zheng, famous Chinese landscape architect, uh, who was here recently for our celebration of the 60th anniversary of landscape architecture. And he also added to this uh, comments uh, in this little collection here. You were leading the Department of Landscape Architecture as a dean. Now listen to this, for 12 years. <laughs> dean of the Faculty of Landscape Architecture for 12 years. Uh, you were guest professor at many renowned international universities and you presented your outstanding projects that we're going to see tomorrow and I'm going to talk about them today in several museums. 
another quote. Talking about James Corner means inevitably talking about the crucial role that landscape design, or as he defines it, landscape urbanism, is playing nowadays. James Corner's broad vision considers landscape both in social and existential terms. Landscape is how we give form to our cities, ultimately how we identify with places, but it also deals with our whole existential condition of beings that are bound with natural forces. This quote comes from Andreas Kipa, German and Italian landscape architect and professor at University of Milano, who did a contribution also to your, you see, this is a laudatio that I didn't do myself, it's just collecting people's uh, comments. You are, of course, the author and co-author and editor of numerous publications, and I have to say they really rank among the most important in our profession, from my point of view, because they are very clear-sighted, and they are dealing with the role of landscape architecture in the so-called Anthropocene, mm -hmm. the age of man that we're talking about, and I think you've really made a difference with your publication, opening us the eyes for the special challenge of landscape in the Anthropocene. Another quote. Thirst is a stronger driving force than satisfaction. Which is probably why I rate James Corner's endeavors as a writer as the most influential of his many undertakings. During the time gap between the period without theory and the period with plenty of built projects, he took action in writing, thinking, and presenting aspects that supplied us with theory provoked us with insults, and soothed us with clever conclusions. Tobias Anderson is the one who said, you provoked us and you soothed us at the same time. And I think he's really right. And in his text, he really refers to three special books that you published. And I'd like to mention it especially for the students who are always looking for good sources of inspiration in landscape architecture. It's first of all, taking measures across the American landscape from 1996. It's Recovering Landscape. <coughs> I appreciate that book a lot because it's about the transformation and recovering of landscape. And The Landscape Urbanism Reader, a perfect collection of theories in landscape architecture that we still profit from today. So at the TU Munich, we not only propose James Corner for an honorary doctorate because of his intelligent and clear-sighted projects and theoretical works, but he also successfully managed, from my point of view, to turn his theories into projects and deliver with the projects practical ideas of how theory can be implemented in our urban environment. There are manifestations with your office field operations. You manifested a new kind of landscape architecture. We're going to see some of the projects, as I said, tomorrow night at the Oscar von Miller Forum, and I would like to uh, invite you all to be there and listen to the talk because I think it's going to really open your eyes tomorrow night. And our students are the lucky ones because they have the chance tomorrow morning to sit together with you in Wein Stefan in our campus and discuss with you your thoughts, your ideas on landscape architecture. And I think this is going to be really, if, you, if you're going to miss it, guys, I don't know how to help you. So be there tomorrow and uh, discuss it. There are many more important issues to talk about and many more renowned colleagues to cite. As a matter of fact, as I said, we have 28 of them in this little booklet here. But in order to give you all the opportunity to follow the manifold discussions about James Corner's work, because they are discussed, they're not, you know, simply positive, but they provoke, and that's what's so important. Your projects are not really, you know, maybe the highlight is the top act that is pleasing everybody, but there are other projects which are full of provocation, and I think we need that in a, in a profession that needs to be alive. So, uh, for those of you who want to really uh, read a little bit more, um, we produced this little booklet here, Inspiration Highline. And only tonight, for everybody who's here, as long as we have enough books here, we can take one copy for free. And please, if you want to torture this person here, ask him for an autograph. <laughs> In this book, uh, you will not only find uh, wonderful drawings by, guess who? Valerio Moreno. He was really giving us the, the, his... his uh, sketches to really make this book and give it a special appearance, but also 27 texts by international professors commenting on one of the most popular urban landscape projects of our time, the High Line in New York. Most of you probably know it or have been there, as I heard, just recently. 
designed by you and your office field operations. Dear guests, um, let me please finish my short and collaged laudation with a final comment by Marcella Eaton and Ellen Tate, both professors of landscape architecture at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, Canada. They said now, nearly 20 years after our conversations with Jim, about his intention to explore the symbiosis between his theoretical work and his design practice, we can all look back in admiration at his portfolio, at his projects and his publications. We can also admire Jim's sense of humor, his generosity of spirit, his scholarship, his mentorship in academia and practice, and the lucid graphic representations of his ideas that has influenced a generation of designers. An accomplished and admirable landscape architect. You really well deserve this honorary doctorate, and we are absolutely proud that the Technical University of Munich, the Department of Architecture, is the first to finally award you with the honorary doctorate. Congratulations. Seriously, this is a most unexpected and surprising honor. Uh, it is indeed uh, an honor. I do feel uh, honored uh, and quite embarrassed. Um, but I would like to accept this honor with, with grace and uh, thank you all very, very much indeed.